What's going on guys, Jake here from Honored Arts once again bringing you another Photoshop tutorial even though I did say that I'm going to show you how to render an intro in Cinema 4D but I'm failing at that at the moment so I decided to give you this video um, yeah, I was supposed to say tutorial then it's making 3D text in Photoshop uh, this is for any Photoshop really, it's pretty simple it's good if you don't have any 3D programs like Cinema 4D or 3D Max or Max 3D or whatever it's called or Blender but if you don't have any 3D programs that you can afford then I suggest Blender because that's good it's got the same layout, layout as Cinema 4D and yeah it's good for modeling and stuff like that so yeah so let's get started uh, what we got here is I spelled that wrong but this one right here that's flashing uh, that's right, uh, this is left, this one, the middle one, and this one, if I just quickly, this is down. Now, I will explain all of it in a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so, now, with, I'll just, no, I have other doing that. Uh, there we go. Alright, with the text, I would suggest you use a square type of text instead of like a joint writing sort of text. Uh, I will explain that to you right now. Uh, oh, that's I don't really care about spelling. And uh, something like. Yeah, well, we'll just use... Yeah, that's good. There we go. Now, what we got here. Now, once you've got your text, you got to right-click it on the layer name, not the picture, and go to rasterize type. So now it's off the text layer. Go to the Move tool, and then hold down Alt, and this is the right-left and down sort of thing you can use. Uh, for the right looking one, you go up right, up right, up right. For the left looking, the left layer, go up left, up left, up left. And for the other one, go up down, up down, up down. For this one, I'm going to do up left. So, yeah, so do it as many times, but I'd suggest around 20 times. But to make it look thicker, you can do, I'll do 30. Now, this creates a lot of uh, layers, as you can tell. So what you want to do is select the last copy that you've got and then the first copy, so it'll be on an arts copy. So hold down shift and click that and they all should highlight. What you're doing from here to, you want to join them together, so what you do is control E and now there's that. And as you can tell with the text, it looks bad and it's hard to read, so you want to add stroke to it. So it shows you the outline of it so what you want to do with all the copies oh, go away what you want to do with all the copies of the layers is put them below the original layer and then click on the original layer and go to blending options now what you want to do is go stroke alright sorry about that and then change it to whatever colour you want I'm going to change it to white and depending on the thickness of it, I guess you could say, is just, you can have one to four, I would suggest, for stroke. Let's have a look at four. Yeah, four looks good. But I'm just going to keep it on two. Alright, so there's that. That's how you make 3D text. But, as I was saying before, now if you want to just join it together, do the same thing. So click on one, shift, and click, and then control E to join them together. Now with this one, I'll show you why not to do it with a non-straight block looking text. So we'll just quickly... Ah, I was just spamming then, so I'll just delete all that. Now you want to do up left, up left all the time, by the way, not up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right, 
enter, enter right, left, stuff like that. Uh, because it'll look weird and it won't look 3D. So now what we got here, I'll just put that down there. Some things it does look good on, but others it doesn't. That looks okay actually, uh, yeah, but still, I don't know, it actually doesn't look bad. Depending on what you want to do, is depending on the text you want to use. So yeah, that's how you create 3D text in Photoshop. This would work for Photoshop CS to CS5, any Photoshop really. I believe, even Elements or whatever it's called, um, yeah, so good luck with that, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, thanks for watching, peace out.